During the past 4 years I've been solo developing my own open world game called Little Huts. In my game you have to survive as a gnome, while exploring a fairy tale world, avoiding trolls, evil humans, keeping an eye on the sky for big birds, completing your task of freeing the world from evil, and much more. And in this video we'll be adding a super hard to find magical golden frog to the game. But why? Well, because we'll also make it so when the frog croaks, he'll drop pieces of gold. In turn you can use this free gold to buy more cool items in the gnome shops. Oh, and before we start, just to get this out of the way and clear up some confusion y'all might have. Yes, it's called Little Hats, and I know this hat might seem pretty big. But it's actually quite little. It's all relative, you see. So the name of the game does actually make sense. Having said all that, welcome to the first ever Little Hats Devlog. Alright, so let's get started, shall we? Let's make ourselves a frog out of gold. And we're done. Yeah, unfortunately. Making games isn't that easy. What I did was take the pre-existing frog material, adding a yellow color to it, and making it look metal and so like gold. Then I made it so that when the frog is first loaded, it applies the new golden look to the frog. But this means that all the frogs will now be looking gold. Instead what we want is for the frog to only turn to gold very rarely. To make it special and really exciting when you finally found one. So we can do two things, just make it so the frog only turns to gold randomly or custom place a few golden frogs on the map so the player has to go out and find one. But the problem with option 1 is that you are now completely left to chance. The player now has no control over finding the frog and will just have to randomly run into one. Which is pretty much impossible considering the size of this world. Option 2 sounds better then, but the problem with placing one or a few specific locations is that once the player has found them, it will no longer be a surprise in a replay of the game. And they can just share the whereabouts of the frogs online. And so, like with everything in game design, this little golden frog idea ended up being about 4 times more work than anticipated. Because I've now decided to combine the two options and slam them together into one. I'm actually going to add a few frog ponds in empty areas on the map. This way I'm also making the map more interesting in the boring parts and giving the player a reason to travel to places where before there wasn't particularly much going on. In Little Hats everything is made by hand, no procedural anything here, all handcrafted. And so too these new ponds that I'm making. Every tree, every rock, all placed by hand. Now you get why I've been working on this for 4 plus years. Now I'm adding 3 to 5 frog spawners to each one of these ponds. They'll spawn a frog when the player goes near them. And only these specific frogs around these 3 ponds will have the possibility of spawning as a golden frog. This way the player will still have to travel and go on a little quest, making the frog hard to find and at the same time leaving some of it to chance, making the golden frog have a small possibility of spawning and thus making them very rare. Next we're going to make a steam achievement for when the player has finally found the frog and we might even add some gnome dialogue about the golden frog revealing some tips on how to find him. Lastly be sure to stick around till the end because then we're finally going to make the frog drop gold when croaking. But before we continue, since this is my first devlog, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video, maybe even subscribe, and while you're at it you might as well let me know what you think about the video, or the game, down in the comments below. Thank you. Alright, back to work. We'll now make the steam achievement, which is surprisingly simple. We'll just take the golden frog model into this photo set that I've used for other steam achievements in the game, and put the frog right here in the middle. Change the lights around some and snap a good looking picture of Mr. Frog. Now just some editing in GIMP, and then we'll add a new achievement inside Steam and give it a well fitting name. 
and within the frog blueprint we'll make it so that when you first pick them up the game is going to check your connected steam account to see if you've already unlocked the famous little heads golden frog achievement if not you should now be rewarded with the most amazing achievement you've ever unlocked in your gaming career or is it i'm a gnome and you've been gnomed. after writing some dialogue for ton the gnome and placing him in various locations around the map, ready to talk to travelers passing by, it was finally time to start working on that gold croaking system. Back into the frog blueprint, and in case you were wondering, I'm making little ads using Unreal Engine 4, and I'm using the built-in visual scripting tool to do all the coding inside the game. Now we'll add a spawn point right about here, then we'll go to the part of the script that makes him do the croaking on occasion, We'll check to make sure the frog is made of gold, and then if he is, it simply spawns a piece of gold at the spawn point each time he croaks. Now we'll play around with how often this should happen, because we don't want the game to crash after the frog has filled up an entire room with gold. But we do want enough gold to spawn, so it's actually worth going out and finding the golden frog. After playing around with it for a while, I finally settled on a good spawn rate. Alright that's it, the golden frog has officially been added to little hats. Will you be able to find it? More than likely yes, cause I sort of gave all the locations away in this video. If you want to see more of little hats please check out the trailer right here. It's a bit outdated though and I'm planning on making a new one soon. It's been about a year of constant updates since I made the trailer so the game looks much better right now. And in case you were wondering, Little Ads is already available on Steam in early access. Be sure to check it out. The game is currently in alpha, but I'm working on a big update, which I'm calling the Big Beta Update. After which, you guessed it, the game will transition from alpha to beta. If all goes according to plan, I will upload a new version to Steam this November. The Golden Frog is also part of this update, so unfortunately you will have to wait a little bit depending on when you watch this video before you can start your quest to finding the Golden Frog. Please consider adding the game to your wishlist if you plan on waiting for the big beta update. Or if you are already wanting to do some exploring and want to help support this project, you can always buy the game on Steam. Link in the description. You might also consider joining our Discord server. I'll be posting regular updates here. And here you'll also be able to give me your feedback or report any bugs you might have found in the game. Alright, that's just about it. Oh, and please share this video. Have a great day. <laughs> Tell some people about the golden frog and the fairy tale game about gnomes. Just some random people. Stop them on the street and tell them about the game. <laughs> Alright, see you all next time.